Most Americans think Yellowstone is the only volcanic threat worth worrying about. The truth is far more concerning. 45 active volcanoes exist in the lower 48 states, and the next dangerous eruption will likely come from a smaller volcano near a major city. These five volcanoes are showing warning signs right now. Current research suggests we are entering a more active volcanic period, with multiple systems displaying simultaneous unrest patterns. The scientific criteria are clear. Recent seismic activity, documented eruption history, and population exposure create a perfect storm of risk. What this means is simple. The next major eruption will probably give us weeks of warning signs that most people never pay attention to. Mount Rainier tops every volcanologist's danger list, and it's not because of lava flows. The real threat is lahars, volcanic mud flows that travel at highway speeds down river valleys toward Puget Sound. 80,000 people live on ancient mud flow deposits from Rainier's previous eruptions. Tacoma and Seattle suburbs are built directly on these lahar paths. When Rainier erupts again, concrete-like mud flows will reach populated areas within hours, not days. Recent monitoring data shows troubling signs. Seismic swarms have increased around the mountain over the past decade. Steam vents are more active, indicating magma movement deep below the surface. GPS measurements detect subtle ground deformation. The mountain is literally changing shape as magma pushes upward. The thing is, Rainier does not need a massive eruption to create catastrophic lahars. Even a small eruption can melt enough glacial ice to generate deadly mud flows. The mountain holds more glacial ice than any other peak in the lower 48 states. That ice sits directly above an active magma system. What makes this particularly dangerous is the speed factor. Unlike lava flows that creep along at walking pace, lahars move like fast-moving rivers of concrete. They pick up trees, boulders, and buildings, growing larger and more destructive as they flow downstream. The Puyallup River Valley represents the highest risk corridor. This drainage system funnels directly from Rainier's slopes through densely populated areas, including Ording, Sumner, and Puyallup. These communities sit on deposits from previous lahars that occurred roughly 500 years ago. Current USGS monitoring shows increased thermal activity around Rainier's crater. Fumaroles, volcanic gas vents, are releasing more steam and sulfur compounds than baseline measurements from the 1990s. Monthly earthquake swarms continue beneath the mountain, suggesting ongoing magma intrusion at depth. Residents should watch for specific warning signs. Increased steam emissions from the crater become visible from long distances. Small earthquakes may be felt locally before larger seismic events. River temperatures can rise noticeably when volcanic heat affects groundwater systems. The scientific consensus is clear. Rainier will erupt again, and when it does, the Lahar threat represents the greatest volcanic hazard in the continental United States. Emergency planning assumes Lahars will reach the Puget Sound lowlands within two to three hours of eruption onset. Mount St. Helens is rebuilding its lava dome as we speak. Since 2004, this volcano has produced continuous seismic activity every single year. Volcanologists consider it the most likely to erupt next among all continental United States volcanoes. The 1980 eruption was just the beginning of a new active cycle. Current monitoring reveals ongoing magma accumulation beneath the mountain. Small earthquakes occur daily as rising magma fractures the surrounding rock. The lava dome continues growing, adding new material monthly through slow extrusion processes. What this means for the Pacific Northwest is significant. St. Helens sits within 50 miles of major population centers. Portland, Olympia, and smaller communities lie within the primary ash fall zone for future eruptions. Unlike 1980, when the blast zone was relatively unpopulated, current development patterns place far more people at risk. Recent activity patterns show escalating unrest. Earthquake swarms intensify during winter months when seasonal groundwater changes affect the volcanic system. Gas emissions from the crater have increased substantially since 2020. 
Thermal imaging detects hot spots within the growing lava dome, indicating active magma movement. Long Valley Caldera presents an entirely different scale of threat. This massive volcanic system in Eastern California represents one of Earth's largest active magma chambers. Ground uplift of nearly three feet has occurred since the 1980s, a clear indication of magma intrusion at depth. The caldera spans 20 miles east to west and 10 miles north to south. Mammoth Lake sits directly inside this active volcanic system. What makes Long Valley particularly concerning is its eruption history. The last major eruption 760,000 years ago was 600 times larger than Mount St. Helens. Carbon dioxide emissions from Long Valley are killing entire sections of forest and creating visible dead zones. These gas emissions indicate deep magma degassing, a process that often precedes major eruptions. Tree die-offs are visible from satellite imagery, showing the extensive reach of volcanic gas influence. Recent earthquake swarms beneath Long Valley occur monthly. The USGS maintains a constant yellow alert status for this system, indicating elevated unrest above background levels. Ground deformation measurements show continued uplift in the caldera's central region. Both volcanic systems demonstrate why volcanologists focus on these particular threats. Mount St. Helens combines high eruption probability with significant population exposure. Long Valley presents low eruption probability, but catastrophic potential impact. Together, they represent the two primary volcanic risk scenarios for the continental United States. Residents near both systems should monitor specific indicators. Ground cracking may appear before major eruptions. Animal behavior often changes due to subsonic vibrations and gas emissions humans cannot detect. The smell of sulfur compounds increases when volcanic gas output rises above normal levels. Newberry Volcano represents Oregon's best-kept volcanic secret. This massive caldera system sits just 20 miles south of Bend, hidden beneath what most people assume is simply high desert terrain. The truth is far more complex. Newberry contains one of the largest and most active volcanic systems in the Cascade Range. The caldera spans nearly five miles across, containing multiple lava flows, cinder cones, and active geothermal features. Paulina Lake and East Lake occupy the caldera floor, heated by underlying magma systems. These lakes maintain temperatures well above normal for their elevation, indicating significant geothermal activity below. Recent U.S. geological survey monitoring has detected magma intrusion beneath Newberry's caldera floor. Seismic stations record monthly earthquake swarms as rising magma fractures overlying rock layers. Ground deformation measurements show subtle but measurable uplift across the caldera's eastern rim. What makes Newberry particularly dangerous is its eruption style. Unlike the explosive eruptions of Mount St. Helens, Newberry tends to produce massive lava flows and pyroclastic deposits. The most recent eruption 1,300 years ago created the Big Obsidian Flow. It is a massive lava dome that demonstrates the volcano's continued activity. Current monitoring reveals increasing unrest patterns. Gas emissions from hot springs within the caldera have intensified over the past decade. Thermal imaging shows expanding hot zones around Paulina Peak and the central caldera area. These indicators suggest magma movement at relatively shallow depths. The regional impact of a Newberry eruption would be substantial. Central Oregon's population centers, including Bend and Redmond, lie within the primary ash fall zone. Highway 97, a critical corridor running north to south, passes directly adjacent to the volcanic system. Mammoth Mountain presents an entirely different type of volcanic threat. This seemingly dormant peak in California's eastern Sierra has been quietly killing without erupting. Volcanic gas emissions, primarily carbon dioxide, have created lethal zones that pose immediate danger to anyone entering affected areas. The connection between Mammoth Mountain and Long Valley Caldera creates a complex volcanic system. Mammoth sits on the southwestern rim of the Long Valley Caldera, 
sharing the same deep magma source. This relationship means activity at one location often correlates with unrest at the other. Carbon dioxide concentrations around Mammoth Mountain have actually killed people without any visible eruption. In the 1990s, ski patrol members died from carbon dioxide asphyxiation in snow caves around the mountain's base. Widespread tree die-off seen from space shows the extensive reach of these gas emissions. Monthly earthquake swarms continue beneath Mammoth Mountain, indicating ongoing magma movement. The USGS maintains continuous gas monitoring stations around the mountain due to the persistent carbon dioxide threat. Soil gas concentrations fluctuate seasonally, but remain well above dangerous levels in specific areas. The scientific significance of Mammoth Mountain extends beyond immediate safety concerns. Volcanic gas emissions provide early warning signs for potential eruptions throughout the Long Valley system. Increasing carbon dioxide output often precedes magma intrusion events by months or years. Real-time monitoring shows escalating unrest patterns across both volcanic systems. Newberry's seismic activity has increased substantially since 2015. Mammoth Mountain's gas emissions continue expanding into new areas, affecting larger forest sections each year. What these volcanoes teach us about eruption prediction is crucial for understanding volcanic hazards. Unlike explosive eruptions that provide dramatic warning signs, these systems demonstrate how volcanic unrest can persist for decades before major events. The challenge lies in distinguishing normal background activity from genuine eruption precursors. Both Newberry and Mammoth Mountain represent hidden dangers precisely because they operate differently from classic volcanic models. Their threats develop slowly, creating hazardous conditions long before any visible eruption occurs. This makes them particularly dangerous for unprepared visitors and residents. The pattern is clear across all five volcanic systems. Multiple volcanoes are showing simultaneous unrest, from Rainier's increasing seismic activity to Long Valley's continued ground uplift. Current research suggests we are entering a more active volcanic period for the continental United States. The next major eruption will likely provide weeks of warning signs. These include increased earthquakes, ground deformation, and gas emissions. The key is recognizing these indicators before they escalate to dangerous levels. Unlike the popular focus on Yellowstone, these five volcanoes present more immediate and realistic threats to populated areas. What this means for you depends on your location, but the science is consistent. Volcanic monitoring technology gives us unprecedented ability to track developing threats. Stay informed about volcanic activity in your region, understand evacuation routes if you live near these systems, and pay attention to official USGS alerts and warnings. Subscribe for continued monitoring updates and scientific analysis as these volcanic systems continue evolving.